Hello, my name is Dr. George Bud Baker. Please call me Bud. I am the Associate Director here at the Navy Senior Enlisted Academy. Today I thought I would overview our active duty course for you in Blackboard. And starting with that, first off, you got to get to Blackboard. The easiest way is to go to any search engine, and I'm going to type in Naval War College Blackboard, or actually NWC Blackboard. NWC, oh, and here it is, it comes up right away. We look for it, and it's the first one, Blackboard Learn, Naval War College Blackboard.com. And you come to this as the login page. Today I'm going to log in as a student so you can see what it looks like from the student perspective. Instructors have a little bit different view. So now you're at the Blackboard home page and under here where it says my courses kind of a little gooned up there but here is the uh, template course. So today I'm going to look at the active duty course the template course. Yours might look a little bit different because we do make adjustments to it along the way. Incidentally this is our newest version active duty course version 2.1. 2.0 has been out there for several months and we have figured out how to kick it up a notch and we've uh, uh, made some minor adjustments so make sure if you have some some course content that it's uh, from the active duty course 2.1 it opens up to the announcement page uh, here's the announcement from our di uh, director and he's gonna say welcome to the SEA and and have fun and a lot of good stuff so now you kinda wonder where do I begin where's a good place to start oh look at here right here start here so we're gonna start at the start here tab Incidentally, just looking at the overview, these are all the menu buttons down here along the left-hand side. The main screen in the front is uh, what, where all your content is at. And up here along the top, these are different tabs. There's the uh, uh, Naval War College and Courses, my NWC and Courses. That'll bring you to pretty much the same stuff. This is how you're going to get into a library to, if you want to get access to online journals. You can do that through the Naval War College Library via the Blackboard. So your ticket into Blackboard is also your ticket into the Naval War College Library. Let's get back to the Start Here tab. So go over here and I click Start Here and the first thing that you see is you should have gotten an email that talks about complete the mandatory six steps to getting started. Uh, this is important because if you don't do it we have no proof that you're out there and we have other people that want to get in the course so there's a probably a 95 percent chance you will automatically dis get disenrolled if you don't complete these six steps how do we know you do it well you'll see at the end here All right, so step one is watch the blackboard video that's uh, this one here you click here and you're obviously you're doing that now uh, step two is to read the syllabus. If you click on this, it'll download the syllabus. Incidentally, it's the same syllabus if you click down here at this bottom part as well. And then the um, pay t particular attention to what we call the student act the academic action matrix. Unlike other college courses where you know you can turn in a paper late and maybe still get a grade, here you turn in anything late, you'll probably get a counseling chip from your faculty advisor. You say, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on? Yeah, because there's a lot of people that are trying to get into this course and we're pretty serious about the academics here at the Navy Senior Enlisted Academy. So do please pay attention. That matrix is going to tell you if you fail to do an, a complete an assignment, what you can expect to get out of that. And as well as the academic code of conduct, on pages seven through nine of the syllabus. Then you need to establish a turnitin.com account. Let me scroll down to the bottom. Here's all the information on videos on how to do that, as well as uh, you go to your group homepage. I'll show you that later. And it's going to show you what you need for your login information to establish that turnitin.com account. Review the deadlines of the assignments tab and the calendar tab. So here you have assignments and then you have calendar. Those will all be populated for you. The calendar will be populated. The assignments tab, I'll just jump ahead right now. Uh, these are all the papers, the deliverable papers, including the group capstone project that you will have to do while you're enrolled in this course. So everything you need to do to complete that particular paper is right here under this title, all under the assignments tab. Now there'll be other places in the course that say, hey, remember to turn in, for example, your ethics essay to find out what your ethics essay is, the details of it, you come here. So these are the major papers. Those are under the assignments tab. Now what I'm going to do is just use the back arrow to get to where we we're at. And we're back here at the start here, six steps. All right, so take a look at all those. Incidentally, those assignments are all listed. That's the exact same stuff that's in the syllabus. And you want to go through that syllabus matrix and break down when all those things are due. Uh, watch the APA and three-part comms videos under the Writing Resources tab. 
uh, that's over here writing resources you can take a click on that and go through that and then lastly ah the, here's the first burnt orange these burnt orange things they're there because I call those proof of life that's how we here at the schoolhouse know that you are really out there play you know playing in this course paying attention and doing stuff because you can read and download all you want we we really don't see that so well but when you make a posting that we can see and then we know that you're really out there so what this is telling you to do is copy and paste this announcement into your course level discussion board remind me we'll come back and I'll show you when we get to the course level discussion board on how to do that so continuing down we have the uh, syllabus and rubrics so we are going to have to make discussion board posts if you click here it'll download the rubric and it'll tell you exactly what you're required to do how many words um, uh, minimum words and what the points are for each week everything's a hundred points so what you may uh, may be deducted on so that will that's your uh, rubric we have rubrics for writing we have rubrics for discussion board posts and we have rubrics for speech which you won't get really until you get in house but if you're trying to design your speech before you get here you can take a look at this rubric to help you out the rubric is what we grade by so whenever you're doing an assignment you really want to have that rubric open to make sure that you check all those blocks and you hit all those things because the faculty advisor your instructor the FA is going to be using that rubric to grade you and if you're missing something in the rubric guess what they'll deduct points so if that's what um, use the rubric to turn in a, a better assignment and last and certainly not least is this newly revised download session we've gotten a lot of good reviews in the past from the downloads uh, download media and what it is is if you're out at sea you can download this or before you go out to sea hopefully you can download this stuff ahead of time uh, including all the videos and then put them on your personal computer or, or whatever so that when you're out there you're not trying to stream and download this uh, a little bit of an overview here the support material as this says includes all the uh, includes the syllabus all the discussion board questions all the handouts that you need to complete the course as well as all the assignments those things were listed under the assignments tab in blackboard that's all all that paper is those files actually are under the support material one click for all your weekly readings since they're PDFs they really crunch down quite well and there's it's not a whole lot of download so you open up this uh, this you're going to download a zip file each of these are zip files by the way once you download the weekly readings it zips out into nine weekly folders weeks one through nine and within those folders are all the readings that you're that are associated with with that particular week you'll see these later on and then sometimes I had to split the media up like week one one uh, a and one B because together it was uh, they get kind of big the file sizes are pretty big to begin with because it's video uh, so but anyhow earlier we had uh, 660 megabyte file sizes and you can see now the the biggest one here it looks like oh we've got six uh, 362 so pretty much cut them in half uh, the big ones in half anyhow that that makes it a little bit more digestible on the download side All right, so that's the start here and probably the most important thing again is completing these uh, six steps to get into the uh, get into the course so that way there we know you're here after that you'll be going into the weekly learning modules and uh, as the name uh, uh, suggests it's week by week so this is uh, these are the nine weeks that are up here right through an admin week for some other stuff to help you uh, get to Newport so you'll probably uh, the first week what you really need to complete are the six steps start here and then each of these weekly assignments you so you go into week one and you say what do I need to do specifically for week one well I'm glad you asked at the beginning of each of these weekly modules there or weekly lear, uh, learning modules it starts with week X requirements so here's the week one requirements this is everything you need to do academically for week one uh, let me kind of jump ahead here let's go to week two week two guess what guess what the first thing is everything you need to do for week two let's go to week three you're already ahead of me right guess what's going to be everything you need to do for week three and look at sometimes it gets a little you know there's a lot of stuff up at front because it's the admin but it does get uh, it does get smaller 
So anyhow, back to back to week one, because that's probably what you're most focused on. We're looking at three-part communications, ethos, and sailor's creed. So there are three lessons that are in this week one. And it's going to go through some, you know, some the general stuff is look at the or look at the objectives, read the readings, do the lecture material, and then this one because it's the first discussion board post says look at what the rubric is for in your discussion boards, and then uh, and then complete your requirements for your discussion boards, which of those are again that's at the group level discussion, and we'll get there here in a little bit. Uh, next, what we want you to do is go to the whole class discussion form, create a thread to introduce yourself, and then also take a look at the pay it forward comments. So here's the whole class discussion board. The pay it forward comments uh, in your active class, when you get to the water cooler, which is the first thing there, there'll be a thread in there from the last class that graduate, graduated. And they, I always ask the question, so what would you tell somebody who's just starting this course what they need to do to succeed? So I put those in the pay it forward comment. You'll get a chance to pass those along as well when you graduate. So how do I get back to the forum? I'm going to use the breadcrumbs at the top. You can see it kind of goes over. So now we go to discussion board. Now I am at the whole class level discussion board. So let's say, for example, if I'm in the blue group, you'll know what group you are because it's assigned down here at the bottom. You'll see it the, uh, in the bottom left under my groups, blue group. So I'm in the, I know I'm in the blue group. I would therefore go into the blue group discussion forum, create a thread, and say, hi, I'm Bud Baker. How's this, what's this look like? All right, and I'll press it. See what it does. Oh, oh subject, uh, intro. So it'll be Bud Baker intro. That's a good one. And then here I can write, see, so you have a little, um, some kind of, it's very rudimentary function in Blackboard. You can type stuff in here. You can attach a photo, insert a file. You can uh, attach an image. Please, when you do your bio, I'd encourage you to put a photo in there. So, because you're in this class, uh, typically our classes now are 80 plus. We're going to work up our way up to 162 students max per class. That's a lot of people in there. Uh, there are a few Bud Bakers in the world, and so you may know me or you may know somebody else that's by my name, but is it me or not? The, the background will give you some info, and as we know, a picture's worth a thousand words. So please go ahead and post that stuff in here. Incidentally, this ribbon form is the same way that you'll have in your discussion post, because this is, in fact, a discussion board. So, uh, And then what you can do, you can either insert a file here, or you can browse my computer to insert a file. When you're done, you can either save it as a draft, or you can hit submit. I'm going to cancel that so I don't clutter up this, uh, this form here. I'm going to use the breadcrumbs to go back. At this whole class level, we put all of the groups there, and we ask you to post your intro bios in all and at this whole class level. Why? Because over the course of the nine weeks, you're really going to get to know the folks that within your group. So in my case, blue group. But you know, what if my best friend Charlie is in brown group, or you know, or what if the, you know uh, Susan is in green group? Yeah. You know, how do I? How would I know that until you get in resident? Well, if you get some time. Go ahead and just like, you know, Facebook crowsing here, you just go into any of these other groups and check folks out there. Feel free to communicate with them as well. But in terms of posting your bio, don't post your bio in somebody else's group. Please post your bio only in your own group. But feel free at this level, you can look at everybody else that's in your course. Please take advantage of that and get to meet some folks before you come in-house. All right, so that's about all you're really going to do here in the whole class form. That's a whole class discussion form. While I'm at it, let's just go down and see what the group room dis uh, group discussion form looks like. Now, there's a couple ways to get there. What I like to do is expand this menu here down on the bottom. And then you can see these are all the, uh, it, it opens up and there's the group file exchange, which you'll upload files. Uh, the blog, uh, we typically don't use that much. It all depends on your FA. Your FA may do it. Discussion board is where you're going to be spending most of your time. The group journal is where you will upload your PPME certificate. The group wiki is where you'll upload your contact information. You can use this uh, send email to terrorize uh, other folks as well. Incidentally, I copied it up here as well, so it's the same one. And then the group homepage. If you click the group homepage, you're going to see all these those same menu tools that were here. 
down at the bottom on the left are also right here as well. So there's a couple ways to get to your group discussion board. Incidentally, since this is the template course, it's not filled in. But in terms of your turnitin.com, you'll have all your group members here. And then you'll have your class ID for turnitin.com and your password for turnitin.com. To establish your turnitin.com account, go down to your group homepage. You'll find that information there. But let's get back, uh, keep on task here, and go to the group discussion board. We looked at the whole, see this course has two levels. There's the whole class level, and then there's the group level. Hmm, why do we do that? Well, let's see. At the whole class level, right now, you probably have about 80 to 90, maybe close to 100 students. Right? So if we post a question, and you have to sort through 100 different posts, that's kind of a lot of reading, isn't it? So by breaking you down into the smaller color groups, blue, brown, gold, gray, green, khaki, red, orange, purple. Uh, what did I miss? Orange, purple, red. I got that. Yeah, okay. By breaking them down into those smaller nine smaller groups, now instead of reading up to 160, you're only reading max up to 18. And typically, we've, the group sizes lately have been running around 15 or so, 15 to 12. So I don't know about you, but I would rather read 12 posts than read all 90 or 100 posts to get my stuff done. So to do that, we have the whole class level, which you saw at the whole class discussion forum, and then the group level, which is where we're at now down at that group thing. So your weekly routine, what you'll end up doing is going through the readings, going through the lecture material. This is going to prep you to be thinking about what that course material is. And then the discussion forum is where you're going to have two threads each week. And those two threads are where you're going to apply that course material. So for example, if I go here to week one, you'll notice that I have a thread for core values and a thread for ethics, sailor's creed, and ethos. So if I click on the thread for core values, here's the weekly question for core values. It says, pick one of the core values, share a story of what that core value means to me, means to you, rather. So I'll hear, uh, I'll hear, I'll hit the quote so I can reply and say, regarding core values, then I start typing up here. You know, I believe that honor is the most, and then off I go explaining why honor is the most important core value to means the most to me. I'm not going to save this, obviously, because uh, I'll clutter up the template course. But that's how you do the post. Uh, I mean, it's not that hard. But before you do the post, do the reading and watch the lecture material uh, in any order that you want. All right, so that's the, uh, the, the whole class level discussion and then the group level discussion. As I mentioned, you'll be spending most of your week you know, online when you're in Blackboard down here at that course level. What I like to do is download the material ahead of time so I'm not coming to Blackboard every time to get it. And then I'll read the readings and then I'll look at the lecture material. And then I always like to look at that discussion board question before I do the readings and the lecture material. And so that way I can um, have that question in mind as I'm going through the work and already formulating my answer. Your primary repost is required on Wednesday, and your secondary repost is required by Saturday. Uh, we do this because typically what you do is that we call it a, a one plus one, right? So you have a one primary response where I'm answering the question, and a secondary response where I'm responding to somebody else who's their primary post who answered the question. and and you want to get those primaries in by Wednesday so that other folks have a chance to respond to your post and complete their secondaries as well. All right, so two posts and there are two questions a week. That'll get you through the nine weeks. That's why I say you're spending a lot of time down here at the group discussion board. So as you can see, they go through weeks one through nine. Uh, incidentally, there's a few other things at the top here. This is that, that acknowledgement form that I talked about and the six steps to start here. Well, here's a good place to illustrate it. So let's go to the start here, right? And I'm supposed to copy and paste this. I hereby acknowledge, da, da, da. Okay, I'll even grab the quotes, but you know, some folks are pretty stickler. They'll miss the quote. I'm just going to go control C to copy. And then let me go down to that group discussion board. 
and then here's the acknowledgement right so I'm in the blue group I go to blue group student acknowledge here it says copy and paste did you see what it said use the uh, use your name so I'm gonna say Bud Baker and then all I'm gonna do is click here right click and paste oh it doesn't want that you gotta use control V I'm sorry control V there you go done submit and I'm in look at that Bud Baker it tells the author is uh, SEA test SEA because that's my my student name that's in here and I'm done and then that way there now I'm I'm safe everybody knows that I'm in the course I'm because really that was the burnt orange thing right Remember I said hey they're burnt orange because they're proof of life oh I'm sorry it's in the start here proof of life that way there I we over here at the schoolhouse know that you're actually alive and engaged in the course out there and that's how you complete that acknowledgement in there what else was there did you notice what else in the group discussion boards there's good stuff in here there's a student topics uh, let's take a look at that well you're going to be required over the course of the nine weeks to um, your first you'll be having to select an ethics essay in week one so that you can write that essay and deliver it in week two and then you have to pick a book from the book readings list. I think that's in week two is we provide you all that stuff. You take a book selection so that no one in your group is doubling up on books. There's a problem essay where you're going to talk about the topic and your FA will approve that topic. Again, we don't want two people writing about the same thing. And then heritage essay, they're all the same thing. So there are things that are in there. Your faculty advisor, your FA will give you some more direction on it. But that's where all those are, forum topics. Again, you'll be spending your bulk of your time down here at this group level not up at the whole course level when you get some time please go find you know go up to the group level and particularly look through the water cooler we throw stuff in there uh, let's see what else in the uh, in the water cooler you have pay it forward for distance learning DL I'm also going to give you a pay it forward for in resident just before usually around week seven week eight I'll put that in there and uh, we have a few other buttons that are hidden right now like a base arrival video and some of those things you don't need those at this part of the course but week seven week eight we'll turn some other stuff on and you'll get a chance to uh, uh, to, to look at that as well before you get in so you're prepared so this you can take a look this is a good snapshot what are we gonna oh there's your capstone project uh, we'll talk about uh, thinking strategically, the uh, four elements of national power or instruments of national power, depending on what you read. National security strategy, profession of arms. Uh, this is all the stuff we'll be looking at. It's pretty exciting. A lot of, a lot of good comments from the uh, how we end this with the uh, uh, Cherry Halley Burton POW video. That is a very powerful, very powerful, very moving. Uh, two professors that uh, well, professor at the War College, Halle Burton, and and his buddy uh, uh, Fred Cherry, uh, who just incidentally recently passed away this week. So, but you'll uh, you'll get a chance to see all those. All right, what else do you need to see in here? We looked at assignments, the whole class discussion, writing resources, good stuff in here. Here's where it talks about a video link. Uh, this is outside, so it's a Harvard video tutorial. They do a really good job of breaking down uh, the basics of APA style. This one here is a, uh, it's like a narrated PowerPoint. Again, if you've never written an APA, it is not that hard. It really is. You have an in-text citation and then a reference in the reference page that tells you where you got that text citation from. Why do we do that? A couple of reasons. One, that's what formal writing is all about. And we want you to be able to document what your thoughts are and what somebody else's thoughts are when you're using somebody else's thoughts to avoid things like plagiarism. Not good. All right. All our papers, incidentally, are written in APA 6 style, which is uh, everything is double space. Everything is Times New Roman font 12 pitch. Everything is double space. Yes. Okay. So here is an outline form format for papers. Uh, these are all good handouts. Here's a really nice three-part three part comms you're going to notice is like really big at SEA. It's at tell them what you're going to tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. So you've got an introduction, a body, and conclusion. You'll learn all about that, but it's a very formal, formatted approach to writing. So pay very attention, uh, close attention to the structure. But I want to show you that uh, here's an APA template in Word uh, of, you know, that it's a handout. So, you notice it does kind of stick out here. Please download that. What some folks, 
you could write over it, but what most folks do is just leave it off to the side and look at it as they create their own page. Copy and paste all you want. I mean, we're here to help. We really want you to succeed. We know many of you haven't written. Actually, over 60% typically have taken college courses by the time uh, we get into this last class. 80% have taken an online course before uh, for class. Who's in the house now? 194. Anyhow, but the uh, APA, we want you to succeed. Here's a template. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't been to college, uh, that's okay. Find somebody else who has been through the SEA. We have a lot of graduates out there, and the numbers are continuing to grow astoundingly. I mean, we're we're getting easily, you know, 70 to 80 folks that are graduating with every class. Right, and then here's another uh, how to organize presentations. This is a civilian thing that does APA three part comms. Uh, here's a how to to get. Remember, I showed you that library tab. This will give you access. I show you how to get into access a specific journal in library. Just look at it for the point where you get up to the part for the EBSCO search, and then just start searching for whatever article that you want. That's good enough. Here, uh, this is another level deep. Uh, awesome APA sites and uh, again just more citation machines all kinds of stuff to take a look at APA checklist 10 common APA errors right so I'm going to use it that's all under the writing resources tab study skills if you've been out of school for a while uh, please take a look at these YouTube videos uh, if you can only watch one which one are you going to watch number four I mean it's they're all six or seven minutes long at the most Really, really good stuff. You know, I, I found it very, very helpful. And then, um, so that's study skills. View my grades. Here's where you can go and see your grade book as that thing starts getting logged in there. And then meet the staff. That will get populated eventually. Send email. Uh, you can do it down at the group level or you can do it up here, which is where you either send it to all your classmates that are out there. You can select certain people, including instructors, under select users. Or you can select groups here and figure out which, you know, blue, brown, those are all the groups right there. So if you want to spam everybody or any only a couple particular groups or send it to everybody that's in your group, there you go, you know. I do blue group here and then this message would come from me. Actually, Natalie's our Blackboard coordinator for the War College, so that's her email address, but that, she set that account up for me. And again, you, here's that same menu thing where you can attach files. Whoop, where's the attachment? Huh. Right there. Oh, it's down here. It's down here because it's the email. It's a little bit different. And I'm going to cancel that. Those are all the tabs. Not really that hard, right? There's some other stuff down here. I'll let you explore those on your own. Oh, one last one, the Information Center, which is actually another Blackboard site. Oh, good gosh. I can't take you there. Uh, because as a test student, I'm not allowed in that course. Um, but, you know, here I can do this. I'll take this information center because I'm logged in on my other screen here. So this is what the information center is pretty resourceful. Huh? This is what the information center looks like. This is run by our admin folks. So if you're looking for DTS information or or administrative information, you know, Heather Lemmingworth does our as our admin support. Uh, Georgette Willette is our registrar. She's our contact, has all registration information in there. You get admin alerts. You get, you know, all kinds of other stuff that's going on down here that's good. Uh, welcome aboard packet. Uh, that's that's kind of nice. But I'll tell you what's really important here is this in-resident check-in information. You don't need that now. We get three types of students that come here. PCS, detailer sends you. TDY, which means you're coming from your command and we pay the dime. And then here are these active duty ADT folks, you know, some of those few that, that check in. Uh, each one of these tells you everything you need to print out and bring before you come to the SEA. So here, these folks have a lot of stuff to do. And what's nice, you just click here and download them all. Again, so it's your previous duty station form, travel advance requests, blah, 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 all that admin stuff. That's going to become important around week seven when you're getting ready to come in. And certainly by week nine, print this out, get it in. The other thing's probably, um, since most of our folks are coming here on the, uh, uh, this is active duty DTS. So most folks are coming here and TDY, there's our SEA travel coordinator. And um, this is for TAD, TDY students only attending the active duty course. Uh, Nahum has all kinds of cool stuff to help you figure out the maze in Blackboard. Uh, he is pretty well amazing in that. So, so that is the information center. You really won't need that again until you get closer to us. But uh, but that's one link to get there. It also appears as another course when you get to Blackboard when you get into here. 
But see, I don't, as a test student, I don't have access to that course, so that's not one there. Last thing before I get off the stage, you registered in Empower to get access to this course. Your, your username and password in Empower are the same as your username and password in Blackboard, which is usernames typically first name dot last name, unless you have a common name like John Smith, then it might be at some other numbers in there. How do you know what that is? Go to this personal information tab here and verify that that's, that that's good, that that's a, a good email address. Your email address is in there. That's really what I'm getting at, that that is a good email address for you to use both at sea and then when you're here in Newport. Personally, 90% of the folks that come through here will use their Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, or you know some kind of civilian email account. If you can get that on your ship or in your station, please use that. Right? You're going to get surveys from me. Oftentimes, those surveys are beat up by firewalls. If you're an Air Force student, I guarantee you, it's not going to get to the Air Force.mil account. I mean, they're, for some reason, the Air Force filter just knocks all those out. Give me use. You go in here and make your make your primary email address in Empower. Do it in Empower because Empower feeds into Blackboard. You can change it in Blackboard, but when Empower resets Blackboard on its daily snap, it's going to change it back to what it was. So you have to change it in Empower, and then email me, George Baker, George Baker, USNWC.edu, so that I can update your information in the survey system. Two separate systems. Blackboard Empower slash Blackboard is one survey system is another okay that ladies and gentlemen is an overview of our course in blackboard uh, and please note that uh, the again the fa is your faculty advisor is your number one point of contact please lean on him or her they're all very good they're all very invested in you succeeding here at the sea that uh, that makes their life good to see you walk across the stage and get that diploma as you go off and uh, and do great things. So thank you for your service. Thank you for volunteering. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Blackboard Overview video. Good luck with the course. Again, I'm Bud Baker, george.baker at usnwc.edu. Email me if you have any suggestions, or better yet, put them in the survey, because you're going to, uh, I'm the survey person. You'll get those a lot. All right, thanks again, and uh, welcome to the Senior Listed Academy. Bye-bye.